All right, so today we're going to be looking at EDP and past paper question and answer. 2013, number one says, students studying EDPM at Mount Royal Secondary School were asked to copy and complete the diagram below to show how a simple computer system works. The components of the system are labeled A, B, C, and D. And the diagram is there to show you. A says identify each of the following components, A, B, C, and D. What do you think should be at A? Let me give you a clue. Input. Input devices. Right, so A would be input devices. What would follow? What comes after? What would B be? Huh? Processing? That's all. Yes. So you have input devices, then it goes to the processing device. Isn't that so? And then C, storage. Yes, you are correct. And then output. Indeed. So you'll have input devices at A, B would have your processor, C is your memory or storage, and D is your output devices. All right, there's a little mini diagram again below showing the same thing that we just looked at. B says to explain how the processor works. Describe how a processor, which is your central processing unit, how it works. And how does it work? Who remembers? Basically, the processor receives the data, and of course, it manipulates it, right? That And make it into something that makes sense, which is now information. We can store it afterwards. We can display it afterwards, right? So basically, the processor receives, interprets, and carries out the basic instructions and manipulate the data to produce information. That's when it becomes meaningful. Number two says, state three techniques that may be used to move and delete files in an electronic filing system. So three techniques that may be used or can be used is to, to move and delete the files in an electronic filing system. Uh, one is keyboard shortcut. And you know, to move or delete a file, you have to cut it. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. If you want to delete it, you cut it. But if you want to move it, you copy and paste it. So you can use the shortcut to cut, which is Control plus X. And if you're going to move it, you would copy and paste it. And the shortcut to copy is Control C. And to paste it, Control V. You could also go to the clipboard right up here. You have your clipboard where you use the scissors to cut and the paste icon to paste. Am I correct? Another way, another technique, the third technique is to right click. Am I correct? When you right click, you will see the cut option, the copy option, the paste option, and all of those. So those are the three techniques that you can use to move and delete files in an electronic system. Everybody agrees? All right. B asks you to list two features that Anna is likely to use when A, selecting justification formats. When you're talking about justification formats, you're referring to alignment. Isn't that so? Mm -hmm. So you can either left align, right align, center. You can justify your page as well. Right? So those are what it's talking about when it comes to selecting justification formats. B, selecting the style for paragraphing. What do you think that he's talking about? Um, 
like indented paragraph or a blocked paragraph or hanging indented paragraph in a reference list. Say for argument's sake, you're doing a research paper. You have to do a reference list to identify the sources you got your information from. And of course, when you're doing a reference list, you have to use hanging indentation when you're doing your reference list. So you have block, which is very common. Everybody know about the block, and everybody know about the indented. So those are the three things it's talking about when it comes on to selecting style for paragraphing. All right? C says, viewing the placement of text on a page. You know you can always go to print preview to view it. You can go to the print layout or the zoom or the document view. Down here, look at where my mouse is pointing. That's the print layout view, which is the default view, what we're looking at now. You also have the read mode view. So it turns it into a book. If I click on it, what you have to see happen? You see what I'm talking about? So these are different ways in which you can view your text or the placement of, of your text on a page. Everybody's clear on that? All right, let us move on to number four. Number four says, Loretta was asked to prepare an inter-office memorandum to be disseminated manually and electronically. State one style that would be appropriate for producing the memorandum. And of course, when you're doing a memorandum, remember your requirements, the things that you need to put in the elements of a memorandum, what are they? To, from, date, subject, sometimes it uses re, re or subject, and it depends on the style you're using. When you're using the block style, you use subject. When you're using indented style, you use re. Are you clear? Yes. So remember those. All right, so state one style that would be appropriate for producing the memorandum. I gave you the answer yes. <laughs> when I was discussing it just now. Blocked Locked. or indented. I remember you have semi-block style. The semi-block style is not so common. If you notice, even when you go through classes and the past papers, most times they use blocked or indented. They hardly use semi, but a few semi block style questions are there. So I would say, please know it. So if you come up, well, if you come across it on any paper or in the exam, of course you can answer it. All right. B says state two ways that the memorandum could be sent electronically. You could use a fax machine. You could send it via email. Right? You know you need the internet for the email, right? We could do the intranet procedure as well. And that is like the internet, but it's only within the organization. Internet is worldwide. Intranet is within an organization. I hope you know the difference too. Please know the difference between intranet and internet. Write it. Jot it down. All right. Number five. The law firm of Dunn & Burke offers free advice and prepares simple legal documents for the residents of Mango Vine community. A. List three types of legal documents that Dunn & Burke may be asked to prepare. When you're talking about legal documents, what comes to mind? Hmm? Legal documents. Legal has to do with law. law. Right? So in, 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 in a Dunnenberg office now that deals with legal documents, you're looking at wills, lease, contract, what else? Conveyance, conveyance documents. Agreements, yes. All right. B says, no, where am I? 
Yes, B says Mr. Matt James, one of the residents of the community, is a musician and has written several songs but needs advice on how to stop other persons from copying his songs. In Tuesday's lesson, we came across a question similar to this. It wants you to tell what term is used to describe the law that protects Mr. James. What law is that? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is copyright law. Very good. Other, other books will say intellectual property, but it's the same thing. So if you see intellectual property, it is still referring to copyright law. All right, guys? All right. State the two rights that are protected by the law described in B1 above. When it talks about protected now, it's talking about your moral rights. Protecting your rights, sorry. It's talking about moral rights and your economic rights. Right? Moral rights and your economic rights. Those are what protects your rights. All right, number six says study each set of pictures shown below and answer the questions that follow. A says identify the two pictures which show the most appropriate attire for working in an office. Look at the pictures, yes, and tell me which two. Two, two and three. Four is definitely not our work office attire. <laughs> That's on the road <laughs> attire, right? And of course, one is definitely out. That is for a different job, not an office job. Am I correct? Yes. And I won't judge and say what type of job. <laughs> All right, look at the second picture now. It says, identify the most acceptable work environment. Look at them and tell me which of the three would be the most acceptable work three. environment. Three. One is too crowded. You notice there is hardly any space. So if you should get up or if there is any emergency, you bump into something. You are sure to bump into, into something. Am I correct? Two. Incorrect furniture are being used for the system if you notice the printers on the floor you know definitely not acceptable but three is a perfect work environment all right all right number seven number seven says the following is an invoice produced by the saint vincent power company for the december billing cycle this question is more uh, more practical, but I'm going to walk through just the same. Right, so take a look at it as I scroll down. And we're going to look at the requirements. It's going to tell you what and what, it, what they want you to do where the document is concerned. So it says you have to left align the addresses, left align the account number, Write a line due date on same line with account number. Use horizontal headings. Center all headings. Place dollar sign on all dollar amounts. Write a line all dollar amounts except entry on last row. Center units used. Center all billing information including total arrears in the middle column. Center the bottom line, correct all spelling errors, and correct punctuations. Good. Now, when you do all of that, this is what it would look like. Now, what I did was to follow the instructions given, create the document, and format it how they wanted it. So at the end of the day, it would look like this. The only thing that is missing are the lines. I could not get the lines in it. I don't. I, I couldn't understand why I was getting the lines to be shown. But the lines should be there. You know what an invoice look like. You usually have the outline board around it. Am I correct? Yes. But it was just not shown. And I did make a note as well. 
The table section is in a table, but the lines aren't shown. All right, so eight says when using the keyboard, there are special key, short key, shortcut keys used to perform certain tasks. State the function that is performed when each of the following shortcuts is applied. A, control X. Control V. Control C. No, it's not C, it's tilde. That sign is tilde. Control tilde. That's a tilde sign. Or you don't know what the name of that sign is. Well, now you know. So you've learned something yesterday. <laughs> so it means to show a formula in a cell. So it's a shortcut to show a formula in a cell. Remember, this is a past paper question. So this might very well come back. All right? And C said, love to repeat questions. Just know that these questions will come back, but in multiple choice form. Nine says, Define the term orientation as it relates to document production. So please don't choose the definition that tells you about the school orientation. It says as it relates to document production. So you're going to choose the definition that relates to document production. The definition of orientation is concerned. All right? <clears throat> So the, it's really the position or direction in which the paper lies or how the paper is laid out for a document production. Right now, which orientation are we using? Landscape. And we have portrait. Or are we using portrait? We're using portrait. Which one is the default? Portrait is the default one. Landscape is the, side, the one that spreads it out to the side. So the default one is actually portrait. Not landscape. All right. B says state two types of orientation. Well, we just talked about them. landscape and portrait. I don't know of any more. Number 10, maybe in another um, software, but not in this one. Give the extensions for the following documents when they are saved. 10A, files, files containing codes. When you save a file that contains code, it is saved as whatever the name of it is, .exe. Are you following? B, files containing pictures. So when you're saving a file containing pictures, it will have the name that the file has, .bpm or .img or .png. PNG, right? So please know the file extensions. That there are several of them, and any of them can come back. Good? So don't just limit yourself to just doing these two. Are you following? All right. So that's it for 2013. If you have any questions, please ask your questions now. <clears throat>